Alright guys, another educational video here. This one's going to be about taking profits, trading tips, all that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> a lot of people get this wrong, especially the newbies in this space. But on a lot of the plays that are one day old to one week old, you have to realize you can't marry your bags. Most of this stuff doesn't last very long. Most of this stuff dies the same day it's launched. Most of it's... Most of them are scams outright. Um, but what's happened lately is the scams aren't as obvious anymore. So the scams used to be liquidity, wouldn't get locked, dev would run away, chart would go down to zero right away, your tokens are worthless. Or they'd make it a honeypot and you wouldn't be able to sell and you'd be trapped and all your money would be gone. So that's how it used to go. So it was very obvious. But now, because there's so many useful scanners and notifications and bots all over the place, people don't really get tricked by that anymore. So the new way of scamming is the dev will just buy a bunch of the supply and he'll just lie to you and he'll sell the whole time and he'll make a bunch of money and then everyone gives up and he takes that money and he starts putting it into the chart again and everyone's like, oh, the reversal's coming. They get hyped again and then he sells again on you. So it's called farming. So if the dev's intentions are just to make a bunch of money, that's basically scamming. Um, it's just harder to detect. That's why you always need to be watching the wallet distribution. Look at the holders list. If you see a bunch of like 1 1.6, 1 1.6, 1 1.6, 1.6%, 1 there's a good chance they're airdropped. Lazy, stupid devs to not even try to hide that stuff. But there's also useful bots like dev tracking bot where it'll show you what the dev has done, where he's airdropped, what he's done, and some good information that way how much money he's farmed on taxes what he spent it on there's also um bubble maps don't really know how to use it myself but a lot of people connected to me do and they can teach you but um bubble maps it'll basically show you a bunch of clusters of wallets that are closely linked and it'll be like this guy owns 10 percent on you know six different wallets so Wallet distribution is always huge, and you don't want to see any big wallets ever unless you know the team, you trust the team, or you trust uh, you know whoever's owning those wallets, which you probably shouldn't unless you know the team very well, which most of you don't. So wallet distribution is always key. But anyways, when you're taking profits, one day old, two days old project, my advice always is if you get up big and, and you get a big green candle and it goes from 100k to 600k nothing but green sell 25 percent and then watch okay it stabilizes it's still at 600k you know what i'm still up 6x it's a degen sell another 25 percent if it comes crashing down you've made money still you don't care you're in profits if it flies up some more goes to 900k now okay sell another 25 percent and if you really believe in that play and you're so happy you just made two thousand dollars and you want to let it ride go for it have some fun if not oh it pumps to 1.1 it's it's still doing better than i thought sell the rest of it who cares you just you just hit big and you made money on a very high risk play but you'll you have options always so if you sold on all those green candles and all of a sudden it dipped from 1.1 million all the way down to 300k and it wasn't malicious and the team is still working and the community is still strong and you believe in it well you just made four thousand dollars why don't you buy the dip then buy the dip for a thousand no matter what happens you're gonna make money on this play and don't get into trying to be a pro and swing trade every chart and sell the top and buy the bottom you'll never do that and you'll go crazy and there's people that, that do that you know with bots and they're professionals at it and they will destroy you but you want to do it once or twice sure so that's always my suggestion is if if you get a crazy green candle and the project's one day old or two days old take your profits on it and if you if you do it the way i just described even if it went 600k and went straight to zero you'd be happy because you made money you're like yes and even if it mooned to six million You'd still have half your bag left, or 25% of your bag even, or maybe even 10%, but it'd still feel great because you made money and you still had a moon bag to, to capture the rest of that big candle. But most of the time, these plays are, are going to die and they're going to be shit. And people just, 
they trust them way too long and they hold way too long when they get in the space. So that's my golden rule that I use. You know, everyone has different strategies, but I think it's a very good one to use. Um, another good one to use is DCAing, so dollar cost average. So if I plan on putting $3,000 into a project and I see the chart and it's kind of gone up to 300K, there hasn't been many dips yet. I'm kind of scared to throw it all in right away. I'll usually throw in like one third of what I want. So I want to invest 3K, I'll throw in $1,000. And what that does is it gives me the ability to DCA. If the price goes down and I buy at 300K and I still like the project and it dips down to 150, well, now I'm going to throw in another $1,000 at 150. And, you know, depending on what the chart does and how I feel about the coin and the community and the team, Maybe I'll, I'll throw in another buy at 220 once it starts picking up some more. Or maybe I'll just wait and I'll wait to see if it hits 100. And if it hits 100, I'll be like, yes, and I'll buy that. And now my $3,000 buy has just been spread out between a 100K entry, 150K entry, and the 300K entry. Instead of throwing it all at the top at 300K and riding it all the way down and back up and whatever. And now I'm going to make a lot more money because I bought the dips. And so many people... They're out there buying the top of green candles instead of waiting for dips. And when I say to them, oh yeah, just wait for a dip, blah, blah, blah. They wait for like the smallest dip you've ever seen. It goes from like 800K to 600K and they just buy it right away. It's like be more patient when you're waiting for your dips. And just please understand a lot of these coins are shit, trash, degens. They're all going to die really quickly. So take your profits quickly on some of these more recent launches. And if you want to do more serious investing, there's tons of opportunities. There's tons of plays, even though it's a degen space and it's categorized that way. There's tons of plays that last one year. They last three years and they do like a thousand X over one year on big money. And a lot of people take advantage of it. It's just, it's a lot less talked about because you have to be more patient for it. And most of the crypto scene, they're just too busy being absolute dumb degens chasing hype and volume around when there's way better investments out there. But you know what? I fall guilty to that myself, so I, I can't say too much, but that the smarter way is to pick the bigger, longer lasting place. So if you don't want to be worried about profit taking and all that, I mean, once again, what I do is I pick the more serious place. So this play I bought in, I'll pull it up. This play I bought in like a couple days into launch once I figured out what it was. And this is, I treat these almost just like those degens, like my pro, uh, my strategy. So I don't know when I bought in, but let's say I bought in here. When it came down here, I DCA'd and I just held and I waited. And I waited. My first buy was here. I waited a couple weeks and I didn't even check. Every now and then I would check the telegram and see what's going on. And then one day out of nowhere, boom, because it's holding a solid floor. It's a good product. Hasn't got the right exposure yet. And then boom. And this happens all the time on these on these plays that hold these good floors. These are the most overlooked plays in the world. And these are the plays that are the easiest money. They're the most comfortable holds. You can go to bed, wake up knowing you're probably not going to get wrecked. Right There's no guarantee, but yeah, no, these are the type of plays. So when I saw this candle, here's what I did. I said, oh my God, I just pumped the 3 million and I sold half my bag. And I said, what's going to happen next? Is it going to go down and I can DCA or sorry, I can buy in again if it's a, a juicy entry or is it going to keep going up? And what happened is kind of stabilized, then it went up a bit and I sold the rest. I'm like, this candle is really good. I'm going to wait for the dip now. There's got to be a dip because this candle is so strong. And you know what? It didn't dip down again and it went up to six mil that day and I could have made two X on what I made, but that's kind of what I do. Like I, I use that strategy even on the long ones. I wait for them to pop off and then I take my profits on the candle. Um, I used to have a lot more uh, chats pinned, but even this one's a good example. I tracked this coin for months. I still haven't bought it, but I told everyone to buy it if it hits 600K, just based on the fact that the team works so hard. The meme is good, whatever. So I forget when it hit 600K, but all these coins, they, they have a solid floor, they keep growing and building, and then one day they just go, like, it happens so quickly, and it just goes boom. Um, so those plays are really nice to invest in, and you don't have to worry so much. And same thing, when you see a big-ass green candle, start taking your profits, and if you still love the project, 
you wait and you buy in on a dip again and then it goes down and you dca once but you make sure you're still overall in profits on the play and that's how i suggest to do it so uh, once again hope you enjoyed this video i hope you check out all the rest of our educational videos um some are going to be better than others some are going to be more tailored for you than others but uh thanks for watching this I'll try to spread the word if you can enjoy the rest of your day